G'day all, we are doing a video tour today on our Alpha, uh, sorry, our Brava model, model uh, box trailer. Um, so you guys probably haven't seen uh, this model before, it's relatively new for us. At the moment we've got a couple in stock, we've got a grey, we've got a black, um, we've got an orange and a red I believe, and they're tucked down the back there. Um, we also have one yellow alpha model so basically there's subtle differences between the two um, basically the actual uh, underneath storage on the Bravo model is slightly more um, you know there's a lot less drawers but there's more storage compartments uh, you know some are open some are closed so um, and basically the front design on the Bravo model is a little bit more um, unique with the exposed gas bottles on both sides um, and then you've got a bit of a toolbox um, inside as well, which is, uh, which is what the Alpha model doesn't have. Um, so anyway, the other difference is the rooftop tent. So um, the perk to this model is that if it is raining, um, you do have quite a nice little shelter area that the tent covers going up and down the ladder. So if it is raining, you don't get drenched trying to get yourself down. Um, also, for those looking for self-containment options, it is possible to do so. Uh, this model does have um, the Velcro strips all the way around the site. Um, so what you can do is uh, get some um, canvas droppers made, or we can arrange that for you. Uh, peg it down and become almost like a toilet tent, really. Um, be a nice way to come down out of your tent as well. You've got a little entrance if you want to. Um, already fitted to this van, we do have um, your caliphant. Um, so basically this supplies hot water to your, um, you know, your sink on the opposite side as well as a little handheld shower. Um, so yeah, another perk to having uh, a, little, a little tent underneath the, um, the entrance to your roof tent. Um, give you an area to, you know, have a little bathroom if need be. Um, going inside, comfortably this, this uh, camera trailer would probably sleep, um, you know, two or three people. Um, Going east-west, so if we call it across the camper trailer, you could fit, you know, probably four people, mum and dad, two kids, if you are tucked up and squeezed. Um, if you want to sleep across the east-west, you could probably sleep two adults comfortably with room for bags and, and pillows and things like that. So, um, yeah, quite a nice little uh, camper trailer. Up on the roof there, you've got um, some fly screen mesh, and they open up. They can obviously close off at night time as well. Um, Lawnings on each each opening as well, so you know if it does rain, water doesn't come in. Quite an easy to put up and down. I think it took me about half an hour roughly to put it up, and that is including the bat wing setup as well. Um, so it is relatively quick and easy. Um, not too bad. That that uh, half an hour to set up was yeah, like I say, everything, not just the tent. <coughs> so walking around the outside of the um, camp trailer, I've obviously just showed you this. This is the. Uh, area where the hot water caliphant is. Uh, you've also got your little 12 volt pump in there um, or your gas isolation valves and things. Um, on the opposite side of that you've got your fridge and cooker. I'll get to that on the other side. Um, but you do have about you know probably 500 mils of depth, maybe a little more, um, and yeah, six, 700 mils of height um, that you can do whatever you like with this compartment, put shelves in or just stack high components and things like that. Um, <coughs> Next to that compartment, you've got your water filler. That's um, uh, quite not quite sure of the uh, the leaderage on that, but I will uh, put that um, in at a later date. Um, you've got your bush bars on both sides. You've got your bush bar here. So it's just a push rubbery out the way before you go through. And here you've got, just once again, storage again, you've got your 2000 watt inverter just there. So that inverter is a combination inverter, so it does both your um, charging your batteries as well as your uh, inverting 12 volt power into mains power. Um, so like I said, it's 2000 watt, so it's a fairly big size for a little caravan. Um, you've also got here your two uh, batteries, now they're AGM batteries, um, lead acid, and what they do is they are um, 100 amps each, so you get two of those. Um, once again, quite a, quite a decent amount for a little van. Probably never going to run out of battery, put it that way. Moving around to the rear, that's where your bat wing starts. So basically the bat wing warning uh, starts from the front on the passenger side of the vehicle. So let's call it the curb side. Um, and then it goes all the way around the side, across the back, to where the uh, middle of the road side um, 
uh, what, what we call it, the offside um, begins. So you've got quite a big bat wing awning there, and it wanders all the way around to the opposite side. <coughs> Before we get to that too far, we've got um, obviously your spare wheels on the back, um, quite a cool mag wheel. So they are 17 inch wheels, um, quite a cool little, <laughs> quite, a, quite a cool setup. Um, underneath that, you've obviously got little outdoor compartments. Um, I'll just open one of those up for you. Um, you know, just for items that, you know, hoses or things like that that are going to get wet. Um, quite a nice little place to put them. Um, spare wheel swings out the way. And then from here, you can then get into your back storage compartment. So in here, you do have your solar panel. Um, you've also got your uh, mains lead as well. Um, in this compartment here, you've got a pull-out drawer. Uh, so once again, this is where one of the big differences are between our Alpha and Bravo, Bravo model. Uh, the Alpha model is basically in this compartment, completely drawers. So I think it's about three drawers going up the back of it. Um, this one's only got the one, but it's got the big deep um, storage compartment for your big items. So if you've got rollaway tanks or things like that, once again, coming back to that self-containment thing, um, you know, it's a perfect opportunity and place to put those. You don't have a huge amount of space under this drawer, but there is actually... Um, uh, you know, that's where you access your, your water tanks in there and things like that. But you bring the pipes and all the other bits and pieces. So not really much to do under there, but on top should loads of storage. Sorry guys, shutting these with one hand is not ideal. I'll just shut that spare wheel back over again. Coming around to the curb side, this is where the majority of your electronics and things are. All right, so you've got your two 12 volt speakers for your radio. Um, now that radio uh, does Bluetooth and, and, your, and obviously FM transmitting as well. Um, you've got your control panel up the top. Okay. Um, and then you've got your inverter switch, water tank gauge and um, isolation, uh, isolation um, circuit breakers for both the 12 volt and mains power. Moving around to the side, you've got um, solar panel input. It's just an Anderson plug, so when you do want to pull your solar panels out, you just plug them into there, and you've got your solar controller charger next to it. Um, there's your mains power for your inverter. So if you're wanting to run anything off that, that's where you plug it in. Um, if you're about it, just storage otherwise. Moving along a little bit further, you've got your 12 volt fridge. That's a compressor fridge. Um, basically inside, pretty straightforward. You can change and adapt the settings of the temperature, so you could make it a mini freezer if you wanted to. Um, most people use it as a fridge. Uh, underneath that, you've got your um, uh, your sink area, okay? Um, hot cold at the, at the tap, and you've also got your Dometic cooker just on the side of your too. Inside here, we do have um, your switches, so um, you'll see up above there, there's a little LED light. Um, when the power's turned on, you do have um, switches down the bottom here, which turn the LED lights and things on. Uh, once again, and some plugs, one for your fridge, one for um, whatever else you might want to run in here. Um, yeah. As you can see, relatively good uh, materials used. Um, you know, even with a lot of other manufacturers around the place, they don't use... Um, cable runners like these so basically this is designed so that your gas hot water and cold water tubes don't get kinked at any point so it goes through this plastic um let's call it track um just to push them out of the way and just so nothing gets caught um coming around to the front as we said before you've got a compartment here a compartment on the other side that's where your gas bottles sit um in the front here you can put whatever you like your toolboxes things like that um Jockey wheel at the front, 50mm coupling, handbrake. Um, just like most of our caravans, we've also got um, Anderson plug charging. So if you are driving along, you can charge the batteries as well as your trailer plug. So this is a 7 pin, 
Um, this caravan does, or this camper trailer should I say, does have electric braking, um, so it's something you will need to get wired up into your vehicle. Um, it does have safety change, but it also has uh, a breakaway switch, so if it ever does detach, you can be rest assured that the camper trailer is going to stop before it creates too much damage. Underneath, I'll just take you underneath quickly, you do have independent suspension. As I said before, you have um, 17 inch wheels. Um, there's your independent suspension there, so as you can see, it's going to do absolutely everything you chuck at it. Shock absorbers to take the shock out of it. Um, stainless water tank. It's got a, um, a shroud around it, but it does have a stainless water tank in it. At a guess, it's say about 100 litres. Thanks guys, any questions um, be sure to give us a call, um, you can contact us on 0800 2 Insight or our sales email address which is sales at insightoutrv.co.nz Thanks guys.